Hello everyone, uh, good morning. I hope everyone is taking advantage of your holidays. Um, and uh, I also hope that everyone is okay. So uh, just to remind you that uh, this event is organized by the Tunisian uh, PSA. Um, uh, we have here with us uh, Mrs. Uh, Ahlem Ben Ali, uh, the Tunisian PSA. Iman Taqtaqou is uh, an e-twinning ambassador and uh, myself, uh, uh, who is also uh, an e-twinning ambassador. So uh, today we will uh, be talking about uh, how to apply for the quality label, um, which uh, criteria uh, to take into consideration when you fill in the form to apply for the quality label or when you start an e-twinning project. These criteria should be taken into consideration from the start. So um, the plan of uh, our presentation today, we will start with a nice breaking activity. Um, then we will uh, be having your uh, uh, ideas and um, uh, what you know about a quality label, then sh share with you what a quality label is. Then we will uh, share with you um, what are the different criteria for uh, the quality label to take into consideration to apply for the quality label. And uh, then at the end, um, we will uh, have a, a live demonstrations uh, on how to apply for the quality label with my colleague, Iman. So uh, to start, um, I might ask you to uh, log into uh, Menti. I might stop sharing. Uh, you go to menti.com and enter this code 55, 75, 63, 6. So I might write uh, the web address in the chat. And you enter this code. Thank you, Iman and uh, Mrs. Ahlem, for sharing the code. So um, let's see how many participants are logged in. So, uh, waiting for you to log in to the address uh, we shared with you in the chat, www.menti.com, and uh, enter the code 55756336 and share your ideas about what are the criteria to obtain the quality label. Or uh, what's the purpose, sorry? What's the purpose for applying to the quality label? Just you can open uh, another window or uh, another browser to enter your uh, response or your idea. If you use uh, your laptop, you can also use your uh, smartphone. So... Um I don't see any participant. I don't know because uh, Iman, can you uh, check if there are participants since you um, created this uh, Menti?
I mean, do you hear me? No, no, Haifa, no participants. No participants. Okay, so uh, maybe we can skip this. Uh, you might uh, be answering the question in the uh, in the chat. So, uh, what is the what is the purpose from applying to the quality label? You can write your answers in the chat. We will read them. Yes, there is. Yeah, you there answered. Two, two answers. Nothing appears. Let's try to click on uh, F. Uh, okay. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, now I see. Good. So uh, I don't know if you see my screen. Um, I can read recognition. So applying for the quality label, the purpose from uh, applying is uh, getting a kind of a recognition. Uh, it's a kind of evaluation to the project. Um, we move on to the second question. What are the criteria to obtain the quality label? Let's see your ideas. The criteria, communication and cooperation, curriculum, um, collaboration, novelty, good. Seven participants are uh, answering, good. Um, to see if you have a good project, good. Collaborative work and use of technology, collaborative work and doing good amount of activities for the project. Mm -hmm. Collaboration again. Uh, here we see, uh, I read, a national quality label is awarded to teachers with excellent e-training projects and it indicates that the project has reached a certain level of quality. Good. Okay, so I see in the chat that you say cooperation, collaboration, this word is uh, repeated many times, good. So I can see also from your answers that uh, you know um, what are uh, the quality, the criteria to take into consideration when you uh, design your project, when you plan your project activities, and when also you apply uh, to uh, the quality label. Henda Kamun says uh, innovation, good. So we can add this, there is, uh, from your answers, there is innovation, there is uh, recognition, uh, the criteria is collaboration, one of the criteria. Uh, there is uh, novelty or innovation. There is curriculum integration as well. Uh, a good use of technology, yes, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Alina says motivation and going further, satisfaction. Uh, good. Okay, so uh, we will see later on in details what this implies. For now, I leave the, uh, the floor to Mrs. Ahlem to say a few things about twinning recognition. The floor is yours, Mrs. Ahlem. Thank you, Imen. So a warm welcome to all attendees. Uh, thanks to be here again for your interest to the topic. So it's time to apply for a quality label. If you didn't do it yet, if you did it, you can also edit and enhance your application. You know, in each country, the deadline vary. In Tunisia is 20 August, he remarked. Uh, before giving the floor to our ambassadors, uh, just I would like to give you an overview about what the e-twinning recognition or awards. As you can see here, we have, um, uh, so e-twinning is, pro is promoting uh, cooperation, as uh, I say, cooperation exchange of good practice among partners, schools, uh, through the use of information and communication technologies, ICT. So it's not all, it's also it winning is the recognition. We have, um, for example, here, the, it's national quality label uh, and the European quality label. After you get the national quality label, you can uh, also get the European quality label if your project get uh, at least two national quality label from uh, different uh, countries. 
Then you have here the European prices and also the evening school label. Uh, finally, uh, in your profile, in Twinning Live, you can have the eTwinning also portfolio. It's all recognition from eTwinning. Thank you very much, and I give the floor again for Haifa. Thank you. Uh, we move on uh, for the moment. Uh, I leave the floor to uh, Mrs. Uh, Iman. Yes, thank you. Will, uh, Hello, everyone. Explain so, what the quality uh, label have, is. As uh, you have uh, said, so the quality label is a recognition of uh, not only the quality of the project, but also the most important thing is uh, the collaborative work uh, between the uh, all the partners of the project, as well as uh, uh, is. A recognition, a recognition of the students' productions uh, in the pedagogical and, techni and technical point of view. Yes, Haifa? Uh, why we apply for the quality label? Uh, we have a concrete recognition for teachers as well as the schools of the high level of their e training activities. In fact, when we apply for the quality label, we encourage students to continue participating and working in e-training activities and a concrete way to show that their efforts have been recognized. Uh, in fact, the students can receive the pupil, the pupil quality label once their teacher receives a national quality label. So public affirmation of school's commitment to quality and openness in European collaborative Yes, Haifa. Mm -hmm. uh, for the national quality label, uh, in fact, we have two uh, types of quality label. We have national and European quality label. First, we have to apply for the national quality label, and we have some questions uh, that we can uh, uh, ask ourselves uh, when, while applying our quality label. Uh, these questions are, uh, does your e-training project have common goals and a shared plan? Has it finished or is it is in its last stages? Uh, have you and your students contributed to all the project activities? And have you and your partners organized collaborative activities? And have you taken uh, into consideration the e-safety and copyright issues? So if the answer is yes for all these questions to all five requirements, uh, then why don't you apply for the national quality label? In fact, the national quality label is awarded to teachers with excellent e-training projects that indicate, uh, and indicate that the project has reached a certain level of quality in their country. And this, uh, and this point is already uh, answered in, uh, by uh, one of uh, participants in the multimeter, in the ice breaking multimeter, and uh, we have uh, uh, two two types of labels. We have first the national quality label, and then the European quality label. If you have applied for the national quality label and you have get it, you have the right to apply for uh, the European quality label with uh, the founder of the project. Uh, for the national quality label, any teachers, any teacher who has participated in an e-training project can apply for a quality label at the end of the project. And if uh, several school teachers participated in the project, each one should or must submit their application individually. Okay, so uh, now. Yes, I will give the floor to my colleague uh, Haifa to explain for you the different criteria. Okay, thank you. Enable. Yes, Haifa. Uh, thank you, Iman. Okay, so um, I will deal with the different quality label criteria, the criteria to take into consideration when you design, as I said, uh, your project or when you plan your activities and also when you apply to the quality label. So, as you can see here, there are five uh, main criteria. Uh, the first one being pedagogical innovation and creativity. 
The second one being curricular integration. Third one, third criteria, or third criterion is uh, collaboration between partner schools. The fourth criterion being the use of ICT. And the fifth one is uh, concerns or deals with the results, the impact, and the documentation of uh, your work. So uh, we will start with uh, the first criterion being uh, pedagogical innovation and creativity. And uh, here we uh, can see that uh, this criterion is divided into two sub-criterion, educational objectives and pedagogical approaches and teaching proposals. So. Um, Regarding the educational objectives, uh, there should be an obvious relationship between the general objectives and activities. Um, with observing uh, the different activity results, uh, it gives one uh, or the observer a clear idea about uh, the degree to which the project objectives were met. And concerning the second uh, sub-criteria, which is uh, sub-criterion, which is pedagogical approaches and teaching proposals, uh, there should be a number of uh, various activities that are conducted, and um, uh, those activities happen in uh, various learning environment or in appropriate learning environment uh, uh, with the combination of different pedagogical methods and techniques, uh, and where the students uh, have an active role in their own learning. And here when we say the student should have an active uh, role in their learning, uh, we mean that the students should make decisions, uh, should express their opinions with regard to the fundamental aspects of the project, uh, no matter uh, the space they work in, whether in the class or in the school or uh, online. So uh, you should take this into consideration. Um, uh, Again, there should be also an evidence of uh, these debates or of these um, discussions in forums, in chats, uh, or any other spaces. So, um, to, to, to sum up, so the pedagogical methods and the techniques that are used should be uh, creative and well adapted on uh, the ground conditions of your uh, learning environment. Now, we move on to the second criterion, which is uh, curricular integration. Uh, here, we can see that uh, there are three sub-criteria. Uh, curricular integration in one or many subjects, a multidisciplinary approach, and key competencies and skills. So, uh, we start with the first sub-criterion, which is curricular integration in one or uh, many subjects. And here, uh, the, the work should include uh, clear uh, curricular objectives and content. So, uh, if there are many subjects who are taking part uh, uh, in, the, in the project, uh, the different objectives of each subject should be clearly stated and related to the contents or uh, the, con the contents that are being taught. And uh, this also should be uh, described in a certain document and uh, be part of uh, the class planning or uh, the school uh, uh, agenda. The second criteria uh, is uh, multidisciplinarity. And uh, we mean here that uh, when the project involves different subjects uh, at, the, at the same school, as it could be also from different schools, uh, this should, the, the different approaches or the multidisciplinary approach should be reflected in the project contents and objectives. And uh, this also should be uh, seen in the final products uh, that could merge different fields of knowledge. Uh, regarding uh, the key competencies and uh, the skills, so, uh, there should be an obvious relationship between the key competences and skills, the contents, the objectives, and activities. Uh, this also should be reflected 
I mean uh, this, when I say this, the key competence of the contents and the objectives should be reflected in the evaluation criteria, which uh, should be established in prior so that you develop as a teacher uh, the development of these competences. Uh, one of the most important um, criterion is uh, collaboration between partner schools. And here, we dis, uh, we, there are three sub-criteria, uh, strategies for coordination among teachers, strategies for collaboration among students, and creating common products. So uh, the first sub-criteria involves uh, an agreed work plan that includes uh, the meeting monitoring, uh, whether online or face-to-face, -face, if you are uh, working at the same school or uh, in general meetings or meetings in general uh, and other coordination activities and uh, where you show if uh, there is some kind of revision and adaptation of the in initial approaches. So here uh, we might, uh, for example, like what happened this year, for example, we should plan some kind of activities at the beginning of our project and we face some kind of situations that uh, uh, make us uh, change uh, our uh, plan so there should be some kind uh, of record of your initial documents uh, of your initial plan and how and why you have changed this plan strategies for collaboration and, uh, among students and this involves uh, that uh, students um, uh, should be organized into groups and uh, from uh, different schools and nationalities, they should debate, they should uh, make compromise, they should work uh, towards achieving a, a common goal. That is the purpose for collaboration, working to achieve a common goal. So we should keep this uh, in mind as well when you apply or when you plan uh, your project uh, activities. Uh, the third sub-criterion, that is creating common products, this involves uh, that uh, the final products or some or most of the products are the result of a collaborative work of students from different partner schools uh, where individual contributions are intertwined. So uh, when each individual, uh, the common or final product um, can, uh, cannot be uh, achieved unless uh, everyone contributes to that product. Now, uh, we move on to the fourth criterion, the use of ICT. And again, like uh, the other criteria, uh, this one also has sub-criterion uh, or sub-criteria. Uh, the choice and use of ICT or all the digital tools or all the digital and technological tools you have used and the workspace management and the GDPR and copyright issues. We will start with the first sub-criterion, that is the choice and use of ICT. Um, and here, uh, the students, uh, you should uh, make evidence or show evidence that the students used ICT to support knowledge construction first, and they have actively participated in the construction of a digital product, that is, that could be uh, your final product, product or any other. Um, and here it is worth considering that um, uh, you should take into consideration uh, the use of uh, ICT should be uh, creative. Um, you should give the students alternative tools to create uh, the same product, for instance, when you ask the students or when the students should make a poster, you don't impose on them to use a certain tool. You give them the floor to choose uh, the appropriate tool for them uh, to make that poster. For example, some students could use paint, simply paint. Uh, other students could use PowerPoint to make a poster. Others could use Canva or PictoChart or any other tool for uh, the purpose for, of making um, a poster. Um, it also, uh, you should also consider that the students are involved and um, choose 
tools. As I said, you do not uh, impose tools on them. And um, whenever, uh, for example, some tools that you are using or that your students are using are somehow difficult to use, uh, make sure that you provide uh, some tutorials and some guides uh, to assist or to monitor the students and assist them in using uh, those tools in a way uh, to make the students work autonomous and to make the learners independent. We move on to the third uh, third sub criteria, the second, sorry, the second sub criteria, which is managing uh, your workspace. And here, when we say in eTwinning managing our workspace, that we talk uh, in general, we talk about twin space, or you can also use any other uh, platforms of the kind. So uh, here, you need to make sure that uh, when you organize your uh, twin space, uh, the organization of the twin space should be in a way that makes the project easy to follow from outside and uh, it allows the viewers to browse with ease through the different activities and could see clearly the results uh, when they want to visit a specific section. So uh, again, uh, the correct management also of the different users. So here we can have teachers as administrators. So uh, if you are the founder of the project, you can give the right to uh, other teachers to be administrators. Uh, also, you could give the right to students to be uh, administrators with the right to um, add things, to delete things, etc. But again, with some uh, moderation. Uh, you could invite family um, members of family. You could also invite experts and uh, visitors to your space. So this is what it is meant by uh, a correct management of uh, the different users. Now we move on to the uh, fourth, uh, third sub-criteria, sub-criterion, that is uh, GDPR, which stands for uh, the General Data Protection. regulation and uh, the copyright issues and this deals with uh, all issues that are related to privacy and security and here uh, it's uh, worth noting, noting that there should be a distinction between contents that can be made public in your twin space and contents that should remain private and here um, we should note you should take into consideration that when your students introduce themselves they do not give uh, um, private information about uh, themselves in a way to uh, to paint, for example, like, like their uh, addresses or phone numbers or uh, things of the kind. Uh, so also in the twin space, this information where uh, students uh, share information about themselves when they introduce themselves, uh, their pictures or whatever could be, could, should also not be private in the twin space. And uh, um, uh, for some, in some schools, as I know, uh, students use avatars and not uh, their own pictures. So uh, you should take this into consideration. Um, also, this implies that uh, some um, uh, specific rules related to behavior online should be clearly stated somewhere in the, sp in the space where of your work, in the twin space or any other space where you are working. And uh, this is uh, that, uh, and this should be made clear, both for teachers and for students. Uh, again, we cannot um, talk about uh, GDPR and copyright issues without mentioning uh, copyright free sources uh, and free license materials uh, that could be offered to students um, with clear and specific instructions on how to use those materials. The last uh, criteria, uh, the last criterion, uh, which is uh, the results, the impact, and the documentation. And here you can see uh, it uh, involves achievement of the set objectives, project evaluation, and dissemination. So uh, regarding the achievement of the set objective, uh, at the end of the project, 
uh, it should be clearly demonstrated that uh, the products uh, or the final products achieve the goals you talked about or you described in the uh, project design and uh, you include how you assess those, uh, those products or those objectives. Uh, the second sub-criterion is uh, the evaluation of your work or, or of your students' work and here it involves uh, the evaluation of the results uh, that you should provide the way you evaluate it. You should reflect and analyze uh, your uh, results or your work process. So, uh, and demonstrate, of course, what is the added value of your work. So, um, the evaluation here should not be restric restricted only to the project members like teachers and students. You could uh, go beyond this and involve uh, parents, involve experts, involve community, the educational community members, uh, and those uh, even those uh, who did not have a leading role in, uh, in conducting uh, your project. Uh, you should also demonstrate how the project had an impact on the different, uh, on other areas, not only your subjects. It, you can, uh, the project or the work you did with your students can have uh, an impact on other uh, school subjects, on other school areas, on school life. So you should demonstrate this. The last one being the dissemination and the impact. And here, um, as we know, uh, for some e-twinners, new e-twinners, uh, the work, like posters, for example, charts, letters, could be displayed in some uh, visible areas in your school, mentioning that uh, those activities are clearly part of uh, and uh, are results of an e-twinning project. And uh, also, um, you, should, you could also uh, provide information about uh, on your project in uh, seminars, for example, faculty meetings, department me meetings, or similar things like this. Um, you could also display, uh, the, as I said, the productions of your projects in uh, school areas. Um, you inform families, for example, you make uh, an assembly where um, parents, uh, faculty, school members, school uh, uh, staff attend uh, that assembly and where students uh, perform or show or display their products. And you make sure that uh, the materials uh, that you created are uh, public. Uh, make sure that um, your work is public in the twin space. Uh, so I think this is uh, with what regards uh, the dissemination activities. Uh, so. Um, uh, to sum up, when you disseminate, you should uh, always keep in mind to keep your activities public. You should also uh, show clearly the results of uh, the, the, the work had on your students and the community and the uh, uh, school life what, and whatever. And uh, you may uh, disseminate uh, your work uh, contacting, for example, uh, newspapers, local newspapers, uh, radio, for, why not, uh, TV, why not, uh, and also you, co you could think of involving uh, institutions or other institutions in the project. Okay, uh, I'm done with uh, uh, the criteria of uh, the quality label. Now I think uh, it's uh, Iman's turn to uh, explain how to apply for the quality label with uh, a live demonstration. demonstration. Iman, the floor is yours. First, you have to log into eTwinning Live. Then uh, you should go to a project tab. You find your project and you click on apply for quality label then you have to complete all the boxes with all the requ required information and to provide evidence of your work. Uh, and finally, you can follow, follow all the above steps of, for each of your projects uh, that you think deserve a quality label.
Yes, Haifa, could you uh, let me share my screen? Okay, thank you. So, uh, I, I all right. I think you are host. You are. Um, you have the right to stop sharing. I stop sharing my screen. Yes. Good. Then I'll so, give you the uh, floor. First, you have to log into your eTwinning Live. Then you go to the project tab. And this tab, you found uh, your uh, eTwinning project, your active and your closed projects. You go to your active projects. Uh, for example, I will apply for the quality label of this project. So uh, you have the title of your uh, eTwinning project, and then you have uh, a link. Uh, uh, name it apply for a quality label you click on this link then you found uh, the quality label application so this form allows you to apply for the national uh, national quality label for your particip participation in the project before you cut you continue you have to check the following conditions which you will further elaborate in the form so you should uh, uh, check that your project has a common goals and a shared plan. Uh, also, you have to check that the project has finished or it is uh, in the last stages. Uh, you have uh, you have to check that you you contributed uh, to the project, and this is clearly explained in the application you will submit. Uh, the most important thing in the application of the quality label is the collaboration among the partners, which, which must be visible, as well as the project results and outcomes. Uh, and we have to check the, uh, this e -safety, the consideration of the e-safety and copyright uh, issues. So, uh, okay. Is it okay, Haifa? Yes, okay. Uh, I don't know, uh, since uh, she cannot see the screen, uh, we can see it. I don't know for other participants. You can see the screen? Yes. Yes, okay. We can see it perfectly. So it might be the... Okay, great. So uh, we have some project details uh, that we have to, to note it. Uh, so we can read it. So uh, they indicated that we have to know that uh, our national support service may have access to your private, your national support service, sorry, may have, uh, may have access to your private twin space for evaluation purposes. So uh, to, uh, in order to facilitate the evaluation process, we encourage you to publish and upload any interesting content you have produced to give a clear idea and the proof of your uh, project work. So we have some initial information. Uh, we have to indicate the average age of your students uh, who participated in the project. For example, I will, uh, uh, I will write 13. Uh, you have to indicate the number of students who participated in, the pro in this project from your class school, class or from your school. So, for example, I will write 32. Also, you have to indicate uh, that uh, you have to check one of these options for your eTwinning project. Is it uh, an Erasmus plus partner key action one project or an Erasmus uh, plus partnership key action two project or only is an eTwinning project? So, I will check. I will choose this option and it's winning project only. Now we'll move to uh, the description of the project. So you have to uh, give uh, a short summary or description of your project uh, that's uh, maximum with maximum 1,000 1, characters. As you can see, 1,000 characters. Okay. And also you should, if needed, 
you should provide links to any project outcomes available online, for example, websites, blog, audio, video, clips, uh, presentations, uh, some links uh, shared uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on some blogs, etc. And these links which are not included in your two space, if you have some links that are not included in your tuning space, you should uh, uh, answer it in this uh, box. Uh, the characters must not depass uh, 1,000 characters. Also, uh, we have other documents. If you, uh, if you have other documents uh, uh, ex that, exist, that exist in your PC, you should upload, uh, you, you should choose or upload any other documents not available online, such as text, presentation, audio, video clips, etc. And you have maximum three uploads. Uh, you you should upload. You ha you can upload uh, them from your PC. This part is named project details. So we have two parts: project details and project description. And finally, the preview. Uh, so. If you have completed the project details, we move to the project description. So I will write some something in these boxes in order to, to move to the next step. Okay, this is the project description, the second part of the uh, uh, quality label application. So in this part, we have the different criteria uh, already uh, seen with my colleague uh, Haifa. So we have the first criteria, pedagogical, which is pedagogical innovation and cre creativity. In this, uh, in this criteria, we have a box with 2,000 characters maximum. Uh, in this box, we can you can describe the educational objectives and pedagogical approaches you have used with your pupils during the project work. For example, if you have worked in small group or independent research uh, by pupils or, or you have uh, uh, adopted some uh, uh, approaches, pedagogical approaches like uh, project-based learning or blended learning, or etc. So you have to mo motion them in this, uh, in this uh, part. And if your pupils are very young, the methods you use to engage them, it's very important to, to indicate and to motion the different methods you use to engage these uh, your young uh, pupils. Uh, this is the first uh, the first criterion, which which is pedagogical innovation and creativity. So now we move to curricular integration. Curricular integration, uh, uh, in which you should describe how you try to integrate the project into into your existing curriculum subject matters. And or if you followed a multidisciplinary uh, approach, and uh, you should indicate what key competencies and skills you develop in your pupils during the project work. Uh, and this part, in this box, you should you have to uh, you ha you have not depassed twenty uh, uh, thousand characters also. Uh, the third uh, uh, criterion is a collaboration between partner schools. In this part, you should indicate your uh, collaborative activities. Uh, you have to describe the work process of the project, outlining the division of tasks, be tasks between you and your partners. And you should describe the aspects of the project where you and your partners uh, collaborate. Uh, collaborated uh, also the activities in which uh, pupils work together and how the final products of the project were achieved by the pupils in this part you have only two maximum two thousand characters and we have said that this part is the most important uh, criterion in the in the uh, quality label application in fact, you have to provide links that proves uh, and demonstrate your uh, collaboration and communication between not only partners, but only between uh, your students and uh, the other students' partners. Uh, 
in fact you have to uh, to provide links and if you have more than one link one link you could you should uh, click or you can click on plus to give another uh, to have another uh, box in which you can paste your link for the use of technology uh, and this is the fourth criterion you should describe how technology has been used by all partners to enrich the activities of the project and you uh, and uh, you have to describe how you address addressed data protection and copyright issues and you can indicate the parental permission uh, that you have from uh, your students parents and also to prove that you have used uh, the convenient technology and the convenient tools uh, with all the partners of the project, you can provide links to areas of the twin space with which prove your answers. And if you have more than one link, you can click on plus to paste uh, the second, the third link, etc. I think you have uh, 10 boxes. I don't know exactly. Uh, okay. For the results, impact, and documentation, you can describe the impact that this project has on your pupils and on your work as a teacher. In particular, you can describe uh, how you achieved the set of, of the objectives of your project and uh, the project evaluation uh, for the teachers as well as for the students and the uh, project dissemination uh, for the outcomes of your project. We have uh, three sub uh, uh, subsections in this part and to prove your uh, uh, your achievement to uh, of the set of the objectives of your project and to prove the evaluation uh, of the project for your students and uh, the, that you have disseminated the project, you should give the links to areas to the twin space which demonstrate your answers in these boxes. And if you have one more, uh, one more link, you can click on plus to paste all your links. Also, you have a, a, a new, a new box, a new thing in this uh, quality label uh, application this year. Uh, you have a new box which is titled what was your own contribution to this project so you should describe uh, your contribution to this project if you have uh, inv uh, invented new activities uh, with your students and all the partners follow you you can it's a great a contribution uh, in, in your project or if you have uh, uh, you have a convenient dissemination of this project or I, I don't know uh, I don't know, but if you have contributed in this project, you should uh, uh, write your your, uh, your contributions in maximum two thousand characters. If your project have other has other words, uh, uh, for example, if, you, if uh, your project receives uh, other uh, countries quality labels or national twinning words or etc you should indicate it in this box and with maximum 2000 characters so i have some uh, before moving i will write something in order to move to the next step to see your uh, a quality label in the peer review part. This is the third part, which is name it preview. So you have the project details of your uh, uh, quality label application, project description with the different criteria, 
and if you have some uh, updates you can change or submit. I have some useful tips for you. So uh, before uh, apply for the quality label you have to complete all the information before in Word document and then uh, copy paste your answers to the application form. This will prevent you losing what you have written in the form uh, if it takes more than 30 minutes to complete. You should provide more information for the non-visible aspects of your project as the evaluators will see all the visible work in your twin space. So the quality label is granted to the teacher and it's personal. Even if you work with other colleagues in your school, each of you should apply for the quality label and present how, how he or she has contributed to the project. The quality label is granted to the teachers who contributed actively and visibly to the project activities. This is some uh, useful tips for you. And uh, I want to go to uh, the presentation. This is the live demonstration of the quality label application. And I want to, uh, uh, I want to, uh, to tell you that who grants the quality label uh, is the National Support Service, the NSS, in each country evaluates application from schools from the national quality label. Quality labels are awarded throughout the year. However, in some countries, deadlines are fixed. For example, in uh, Tunisia, we have uh, the deadline is 20 August. August. So be sure to consult your NSS for information about the deadlines in your country. And once the application is accepted or rejected, your NSS will contact you. Amen. OK, so we move now to the evaluation of our uh, presentation. That I would like is it OK, response. Haifa? Uh, first question, Hinda Kamun. Yes. About the list of students. Yes, yes uh, Hinda. Uh, it's specific to uh, our PESA, Tunisian PESA. You should upload uh, the list of your students and uh, the class. Okay. Uh, I will share you in the chat the link to our publication in our page Facebook. And you can check the information here. Okay. So, for Tunisian ATM, you should upload the list of your students. When uploading, uh, you can you can yes. again your uh, email. The form again. You can share. You can yes. use the form again. The application. The first step. Description when uh, students have possibility to upload. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Come. Yeah. I think it's in the first page. In yes. when you go back. Go back. I mean, yes. 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 If you change. Okay. Uh, Yes, if you submit your, uh, uh, your uh, yes, if you submit your e-twinning application, for example, I, I will uh, give you an example. If you have clicked on submit and you have some uh, updates to your application uh, quality label, uh, as you can see, I am a partner in a project named Twist and I have applied for my quality label last modified on uh, 15 August. And uh, if I have some updates, I can click on edit. Okay, you can click on edit. You can uh, uh, add your updates, and you can uh, re-click on uh, your uh, on the button submit. But you have to edit before 20 August for the Tunisian partners for the Tunisian uh, each winner. Sorry. Of course. Yes. 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 Before, you can edit before 20 August. All uh, changes uh, don't be uh, taken in consideration after this day. Please uh, email edit, edit. I want to show how, when they can upload the file of the student's list. It's obligatory for to uh, specific to uh, our PC. Edit, 
Edit your application email, please. Edit it. Click there. Uh, you mean uh, she wants to say, where, uh, show the space where you can upload a, a file, yeah, that one. You didn't say it, you mean, but it's uh, very clear application in our page Facebook. So here you can upload a file, you should upload the file containing the uh, name of your students and the class. It's a specific, I repeat, mm -hmm. for a Tunisian PC, yes. okay? Thank you. The second question is about the language. Only English, no. You can uh, write in French. You can submit in French too. Okay? So, so no in this part, you uh, have, we English have to upload yes. for the list of our students? Yes, so I will, uh, I will uh, yes. uh, do it now. Okay, this is the, the, my uh, students for this, uh, which are members in this project. And then I click on uh, next step. Next step. And submit. Okay, so I, uh, is it okay? We can move to the evaluation. Thank you. Uh, yes, Haifa, is it okay? Yes, Iman, you can go on with the, the evaluation. No questions yes, uh, displayed in the chat, uh, Mrs. Ahlim. Mrs. Ahlem answered the, the question that we asked in the chat. Uh, maybe you can carry on with the, so, with the evaluation. The evaluation is uh, just you, you can uh, ask uh, your questions in, in this Manti, uh, in this Manti matter. So you can go, if you have, if you have some questions, you can go to manti.com and you can uh, write the or type the code uh, this code 916697 6 and you can write your questions in order to answer uh, them together uh, Hejar Mohamdi is typing a question in, a, in the chat can you just type the question in the Manti uh, Hejar so that we can have a record of the questions, of all the questions we had. Uh, by the way, uh, while you were um, presenting uh, the, the live demonstration, I have a, a private question in the private chat. One of the participants uh, asked uh, uh, this question. Should uh, he or she uh, fill in the application form even if she is not founder in the project, if, even if she is mer a merely, uh, merely a participant in the project? And the answer is yes, of course, all participants, no matter whether they are founders or uh, whether they are uh, participants, could uh, fill in the application form and get a quality label. Maybe we can wait for a few minutes to see the questions. Okay, good. Um, okay, so when you when we get our national quality label, we apply again for the European one. Uh, no, the, yes, yes, yes. I will explore. Yes, Haifa, uh, could you uh, answer for this question? 
Yes, okay, so uh, this is uh, Hejar Mohamdi's uh, question uh, from uh, Tunisia. So she says, when we get our national quality label, we apply again for the European one, and the answer, of course, is yes. Actually, getting the national quality label is a condition to apply for the European quality label. You cannot apply for the European quality label if you do not get your national quality label. And of course, after uh, the results are um, uh, are displayed or are uh, published, uh, the, your PSA will inform you uh, of uh, the date when you could start uh, the application for the European quality label. Yes, Haifa, it will be the end of September, beginning of October, for uh, uh, results of the national quality label. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, this is not a question, but uh, a real evaluation for our presentation, I think. Just wanted to thank you for the presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another uh, question. How many teachers from each country can participate in one project? Doesn't the number affect or apply? Uh, we have not uh, um, a limited number of teachers from one country to participate in one project. But if you, if you are more than one teacher from your schools, you, each one of you have to apply for the quality label. No, the number doesn't affect for the application for the quality label. Yes, all the teachers, all teachers. should apply for the quality label. Mm -hmm. yeah. All teachers, yeah, participating. Yeah. Yes. Very on you, man. Sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, fourth question, usually after national quality, the European one is coming automatically, yes, uh, uh, yes, but after uh, all this, there is another session for the European Union awarded prizes, which is once in the year, correct? Another session. Yes, um, yes, uh, th there is another question in the chat from Elmira Aridzi. She asks, uh, uh, is it necessary when you uh, get a national quality label, is it necessary to apply for the European quality label? Is it necessary? Yes, this step is important. Uh, otherwise, you cannot uh, apply. Yes. For the European yes. Yes. there is no application. It's automatically, but... There is a condition if the project get two national quality labels from different countries, from different NSS, it automatically get the European quality label. Okay, it's clear. Then, will we the step of uh, uh, European for the price. European prize? Uh, okay. Yes, the project founders should apply for the European prize and. Uh, uh, all the project partners uh, should uh, uh, give their uh, uh, write their quality label uh, in the uh, form for the European uh, prize. But uh, before do it, the founders must uh, one one of the founders must apply for the European prize. Uh, for the project, and if uh, the uh, and if the project get uh, the European uh, uh, prize, uh, this is uh, a prize for all the project, not only uh, for the founder of the project or the partners. This is a prize for the project and for all the partners who get it, who get who get uh, the European uh, quality label. This prize is uh, for the project, not for the founder of the project. Yes, I will go. I will uh, move to the next question. Um, yes. Please, uh, in the chat box. Yes. Please, please. Uh, I share in the chat box the link 
to our meeting webinar tomorrow. If you want to have more ideas about good practices, uh, that can be an example and inspiration for you. You can follow us tomorrow with uh, a new webinar, but it will be organized on Teams platform. Now, I should you do the link if you want to attend this uh, webinar. Thank you. you yes, can yes, yes, Mrs. Ahle. Uh, is it okay to be founders from one country? Is there considered international project? I think yes, Mrs. Ahle. Yes, but there is a condition too. It, uh, the project should have a participant from other countries, not from the, You can have founder from the same country, but the, uh, the project should have, must have other participants from other countries, okay? No problem for founders. You can have the same uh, founders from the same country, but you should uh, involve other participants from other countries in the project, mm -hmm. yeah, okay? Uh, if we, ha we haven't students, can we participate with other teachers? Uh, I don't know, understand, uh, I, don't, oh. I don't understand the question. Uh, how can you participate with other teachers? No, you should or you must have students. The criteria of the... Yes. Yes, the work is the students. In the uh, uh, quality label application, you must show or demonstrate uh, your students' work, not your work. Yes, I see that it is okay. No questions in the chat. If you uh, maybe. Is it okay, Haifa? Yes. We have still two questions. The end date. Uh, you mean the deadline of the nomination to label in Tunisia is 20 August. So, in the yeah, deadline three days of are the left. quality label application in Tunisia is 20 August. You have still three days. Yes. And the... Uh, uh, Last question. I asked for the quality label for one of my projects finished in June. Will I receive an answer even if negative? Uh, I hope it will be positive. And uh, if uh, positive or negative, you, you will receive an email from your NSS. Uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, uh, last September or uh, Mrs. Ahlem. Could you answer this question? I don't know uh, the, uh, when you receive your email, but if it's a positive or negative... Uh, I think it depends on um, the countries okay, and I hope it when they will fine. announce, when they announce. Some countries have announced the, um, the results for getting but the I quality label. Some will uh, announce later on, so yes. it depends. Yes. Okay. If you have other questions, you can uh, post it in uh, this uh, Manti. Okay. We have another question. Uh, do the rules. For the national quality label, equally or similarly in other countries, yes. We have the same application for the quality label. It's uh, and uh, it's indicated in the uh, eTwinning platform. Okay, so we have all the uh, criteria. Uh, we have uh, the same criteria for all the countries. Okay, if you have another questions, you can post uh, uh, post them in this Manti.
Iman, I don't know, uh, but the sound is interrupted. Your sound is interrupted. Okay, I think it's, it's okay. Yes, now yes. I think uh, we... Okay, could you hear me now? We answered all the questions. I don't see. Yeah. Yes. Then I will uh, stop recording. We thank all the participants for their time. I know um, this is really... Um, um, this shows how motivated you are as it winners. And um, the fact to attend um, uh, continuous professional development in your holidays, uh, this shows um, how dedicated as a teacher you are. We thank you very much. And we hope uh, you stay safe with your families and uh, your loved ones amidst this uh, global uh, pandemic. Um, Thanks to my colleague Imen Taktak, to our PSA Mrs. Ahlin for her support and uh, uh, for attending this uh, uh, this webinar and uh, being of a great help to us. So see you in other opportunities and other webinars. Goodbye. <laughs>